Yes. Um, this is week seven of our summer long deep dive into the IMDb bottom 100. And every week this summer, we are doing a deep dive into one of the 100 worst movies ever made, according to the Internet Movie Database. But here in Act One, I like to spend a bit of time discussing one of the 100 movies that we will not be doing this summer. <laughs> Uh, we can do all 100 in one summer. So this week, I will be discussing why I absolutely refused to watch the 1987 film Jaws the Revenge. Okay. Okay, so Jaws 3 in 3D uh, is one of my favorites because you get to see, because it's all set in. They filmed it in SeaWorld, and you get to see a lot of 80s SeaWorld, and I really like that. Uh, I remember seeing Jaws 3 in 3D in theaters, and liking it, and it was a it was a huge fight. It was a financial success. It wasn't a critical success, but it was a financial success. It cost 18 million dollars to make, and it made you know, almost a hundred million dollars. So it was a, a huge, huge hit. So after Jaws 3 and 3D, Universal Studios made a Jaws ride at their theme park. And so this, the CEO or whatever of Universal is all like, hey, uh, do a fourth Jaws film. The last one made us money and we need to advertise this new Jaws ride. So just throw together a Jaws film and do it quick. So, Jaws the Revenge was written, filmed, edited, and released in less than nine months. Oh. This is the most hastily uh, thrown together film in the world. The paint probably wasn't even dry on the sets when they wrapped it's 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 such a hastily thrown together piece of shit with a dumbass plot and uh like the wife of the guy from the first film the hero goes to the bahamas but the shark follows oh because this shark is even in like uh, oh, this is this is warm waters, and we don't have sharks in warm waters. So there's so sharks won't come here. That's probably why the wife has moved to this area. But what? A shark is here? Yes, because this shark is out for revenge against the people who killed the shark in the first Jaws movie or whatever. Yes. It's ridiculous. It's like it's like Jaws, the first film. And then Jaws 2 is, shit, let's just make a second one. Jaws 3 is fun, and Jaws 4 is their attempt to turn Jaws into a Jason-type slasher franchise. Yes. You know, and it's just, it's a horrible film, and I've seen it before, and I just absolutely hate it. It's 100% thrown together. And there's two endings... And that story pisses me off. So in the end of the original, in the ending that was released in American theaters, they put a bomb in the shark, but the bomb doesn't go off, and the black guy, Mario Van Peebles, is eaten by the shark. And so then the woman stabs the shark, with the, 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 whatever, the penis of the boat. And the shark is freaking out and flopping all over the place. And in doing so, destroys the boat and everyone goes down with the ship. End of movie. And audiences hated that. So, the, the Universal did filmed a completely different ending for when it was released in foreign markets 
Uh, and in that one, oh, everyone's, everyone's in the water and everyone's fine. And look, uh, uh, the shark is, is, is better now. In this one, the shark doesn't destroy the boat. The shark explodes. And everyone's in the water and everyone's fine. Even Mario Van Peebles, who we just saw eaten. And my favorite part about this ending is that it's obviously filmed in that big fake tank that's meant to be an ocean at Universal yes. Studios. The same one that uh, from like uh, so many films, uh, The Truman Show. Yeah. You know? Just running into the wall. It looks super fake. And it's hilarious. So then, when they decided to release Jaws the Revenge on a, for, like, home video, they put the international ending on it. So, as an American cinema-goer, you went to see Jaws the Revenge in theaters and saw one ending, but when you rented it, it was a completely different ending you've never seen before. <laughs> I I liked the, the ending where when the shark was finally about to destroy the Brody family, uh, put in a quick emergency call to the to his therapist and realized that he was just acting out due to earlier childhood trauma. Yeah. Much better ending for a Jaws movie. Yeah, that's the ending where they just all hug it out. Yeah. Yeah. They just give that shark a big old hug. The the biggest disappointment in Ch in Jaws Revenge. It, just Michael Caine. Yeah. Just my Michael, you can say no, okay? Just because they have to hand you they hand you a script. You don't have to be in that movie. You you can just say no sometimes. If people if people ask Michael Caine why didn't you make that movie, he says, "Hey, don't blame me. Blame it on Rio." Yeah. That's a Michael Caine joke. That's why we have so many followers of this podcast. So anyway, that's why I refuse to do Jaws: The Revenge. That movie is shit. Yes. Um, and, and I just absolutely. If you want a copy of the film, hey, it's it's in the bin. It's in the nobody wants these bin at Walmart for five dollars. I saw it the other day. Yeah, and I was like, shit, there's Shot the Revenge. I'm just about to talk about that. I wouldn't even pay five dollars for that fucking film. But I absolutely hate Jaws the Revenge. The fact that Universal Studios would do that to the ending shows just how little they cared about the film in the first place. You know. Yes. So, fuck Jaws the Revenge. I refuse to do that. Uh, and I'm glad that it didn't win the poll. Um, so, so, so that's why I refuse to do Jaws the Revenge. I, I like this part of the, in the beginning of the show where we just talk about one of the films we won't be doing in the IMDb bottom 100. So, Jaws the Revenge, we won't be doing it. Ever. And, and speaking of the poll, is there a poll this week? No, there is not. Because the closer that we get to the end of the summer, the more there are some films we have to do. And I'll just come out and say it. Next week, we're doing Battlefield Earth. Okay. It's going to suck, but we got to do Battlefield Earth. We have to. We have to do Battlefield Earth. We have 100. to do Battlefield Earth, but I I've seen Battlefield Earth before. It's not as bad as the shit we've been watching. Yeah? Yeah. I watched it. I've watched it Don't once. get me wrong. Not a good movie. You know, but it's not Slender Man. This movie... This week's movie... Sucks. So bad. I, I appreciate that they gave Stevie Wonder a chance to try cinematography, but it did go about as expected. Wow, I've never seen I've never seen a horror movie where four teens summon something evil and that something starts hunting them down. 
What a unique premise. Yeah. Never before done in the history of cinema. Yeah. It's like it's like they it's like the 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 screenwriters just uh Hey, I just bought this new screenwriting software. Oh, look, it comes with examples. Let's just type in horror. Oh, here's an entire script. Let's just do this. I like to think that this week's movie, Slenderman, Slenderman, um, takes place in the Charlie Brown universe because I think I only saw one or two parents in the entire movie. Yeah. Like, all of these kids are disappearing. What about the parents? Oh my yeah. god. You know? You are right. It's ridiculous. You're right. Anyway, let's let's save that for Act Three. Let's let's end this Cause, cut. Because God knows there's little enough to talk about. Yeah, there's a little enough to talk about anyway. So cut on that.